It's no secret that Hans Zimmer is one of the biggest film composers of his time. He has spent his life writing film scores that have inspired and entertained millions of people. He has already written over 150 film scores, including Interstellar, Inception, Sherlock Holmes, and The Dark Knight. Not too long ago, I composed a score for the short film Spring by the QTube. In this video, I'm going to explain to you my process on how I composed that score in a similar way to Hans Zimmer, and how I made it work in a film. Hans Zimmer usually starts his songs quietly, and then he builds them up in waves until it reaches an intense and suspenseful peak. I also did this, just a lot worse, to create an atmosphere and made the overall score feel more cinematic. I used the long preset from the Intimate Strings plugin that I mentioned in my last video to make the main chord progression used throughout the entire score. symbols to make a sound similar to a swell, which is often used in hand scores. I particularly liked this sound as it helped me lead the song into different sections when there was a change in the events in the film. One thing I've learnt when trying to compose like Hans is that you should never be afraid to repeat chord progressions and melodies. During his main theme from Inception, he repeats the same chord progression over and over again without it getting boring or dull. He does this by introducing new instruments and changing the voicing of the chords. Hans Zimmer is well known for mixing in electronic synths alongside his orchestra, an idea something very similar at the back of my track. It is a repeating note that gives off an almost pulsing sound. You can get this sound for free using the Spitfire Audio Labs. You may have noticed that hand strings almost sound like they are breathing. There are a few ways to recreate this sound, but the easiest way you can replicate this sound I've found is by changing the automation pattern to make a curvy M shape. Reverb is essential when writing orchestral music. I normally use Space Design and Stereo's Ancient Church, which is found in Logic's large spaces than halls. Scoring scenes are very intense, Hans tends to use heavy sounding percussion that is backed by strings and brass. I used heavy percussion to accent or hit important melodic parts. You can see how I did that in this scene. <laughs> If you're trying to score an intense scene without percussion, you could try adding a deep brass sound. I did this to build up the intensity in certain scenes. In some of his scores, Hans used what's called shepherd tone. This consists of at least three octaves, all spaced an octave higher or lower than each other. This creates an audio illusion that it is always rising. He used this to create intensity, making the audience sit on the edge of their seats. finishes his scores off by building up the score until it's incredibly intense and then when it's at its peak he will let the sound drop off letting the reverb echo on. Personally I used a heavy percussion sound with strings in the background and then once the heavy percussion hit I let the strings reverb drift off. 
If this video helped you at all, any support would be incredibly appreciated. If you also have any suggestions or requests for future videos, make sure you comment them below. Thanks for watching.